Hey there guys and welcome back to the channel. So as you can see, we have a whiteboard back here in the background now. So I'm gonna need your honest feedback on this guys and let me know if this whiteboard is something that you wanna see more of, especially when I go into details on certain things. And just overall, if it helps you guys in any way, especially for some of you who may learn more visually. So be sure to drop a comment and let me know what you guys think about this board. If not guys, I can always resort back to the normal, you know, video forms. But on this video specifically guys, I'm gonna be using this board just to demonstrate some of the things that I'm gonna go over. But without wasting any more of your valuable time guys, on this video, we need to discuss on one common mistake that all new beginner investors seem to make. Now listen, when we all start investing in any way, we're bound to make a few mistakes as beginners, right? We may pick a wrong stock, we may pick a wrong investment, so we're bound to lose some form of money, all right? Whether it be $10, $20, $100, $1,000, which honestly, I really hope you're not starting with $1,000 if you're just beginning investing. But despite all those mistakes, guys, there's just one common mistake that I don't really see anybody else discussing. And I hope that as a new beginner, if you're watching this, I hope that you watch it through the end and learn something from this mistake. Because if you don't, guys, this is one of those few common things that I see everybody who starts investing and never invest again that they end up making because of this mistake okay so don't let this be you especially if you're interested in beginning your journey with investing okay guys so with that being said guys if you haven't already be sure to smash that like button it boosts up that youtube algorithm also you know just leave me a comment down below guys let me know what you think about this whiteboard let me know if you find any value in this video whatsoever and if you are new to the channel and you did like this video and want to see more content just like this guys then i will consider subscribing but other than that guys, let's not waste any more of your valuable time, all right? So guys, with all that being said, I need to ask you guys one quick question. What does Bitcoin, marijuana, or cannabis, I guess you can say, and penny stocks, which I guess we'll use a chart for that, Okay, hopefully you guys can see that. Looks like you can. But what does Bitcoin, cannabis, and penny stocks seem to have in common? Now, they may not look like they have much in common, but if you look real deeply, guys, there's something that all three of these seem to have in common, especially with new investors. Well, for one, guys, at least two of these are emerging industries, okay? Like Bitcoin, Litecoin, you know, just cryptocurrency and overall, is something that is starting to emerge more and so is cannabis. Now, penny stocks also kind of goes into this category. I mean, it's not something new, but if there's one thing that all three of these things have, guys, is that as a new beginning investor, we tend to hear the newest, latest things, right, okay? The newest things to invest, the newest thing to buy, and in this example, well, it happens to be cannabis, cryptocurrency, and penny stocks. This is something that attracts so many young investors into investing. And when you hear about these things that are, you know, starting to rise up in the industry, you tend to just want to go into your savings account and, you know, dump all your money into these things, right? Because we don't want to miss out on none of these things, especially when you know that it could potentially make you a lot of money. So therefore, you end up getting all your money, investing it into one of these things, hoping that you strike that lucky gold card or something and get rich instantly, right? But there's a problem with this, guys, okay? So let me just go in and erase this real quick and explain what I mean. A few moments later. Because you see, you make an investment into one of these things and you do it with little to maybe no information whatsoever into what you're investing in. So you go ahead, invest your money, hoping that you become a multimillionaire by investing into one of these things. But guess what happens now the next day? You invest all your money, all right? So here's all your money. You would put it into, you know, I don't know, cryptocurrency. So we'll put Bitcoin. You put all your money into Bitcoin, thinking you're going to strike rich. But now, all of a sudden, a week from now, well, cryptocurrency seems to just sharply go down. Not 20%, not 30%, but 90%. So now you just dumped all your money into Bitcoin and it just went down 90%. All of a sudden, guys, what now? You just lost most of your money. If you had invested ten thousand dollars into Bitcoin, well, you just lost nine thousand dollars. So what now? I mean, you thought you were gonna be a multimillionaire by investing into Bitcoin, right? But you didn't, and instead, you lost most of your money. So now, all of a sudden, there's that sudden loss of just hope. You know, like all of a sudden, you're like, "What the hell? Why did I invest into this?" 
this seems pretty scamish. I mean, investing seems scamish now at this certain point, right? Now it has you thinking like investing doesn't even work at all. People like Warren Buffett are just bullshitting it out here by promoting investing, right? Now let's be honest here, guys. A lot of us, especially as new beginners, we tend to be in some certain scenario just like this where we follow the next hype thing or the next cool thing, whatever you want to call it. So we dump a good amount of money and well, stuff like this ends up happening. It's happened to me before. I've done it with stocks before where I invested into a Chinese stock. I forgot which one, but I dumped a good amount of money. And even right now to this point, I still haven't sold those shares and I'm down still like 50% of those shares. So that's a major lesson learned that I learned by not following any of these trends, especially when, you know, they're pretty heated right now. But you see guys, the major problem with this is not even the money that was lost doing this. Because you see, the biggest issue with this is that when something like this happens, especially as a new beginner guys, when you lose this much amount of your portfolio and in one investment, well, all of a sudden, it gets you in that mindset of just never wanting to invest ever again in your lifetime. Which means, guys, that the biggest loss here isn't the money. You want to know what the biggest issue is with new beginners that do stuff like this and never invest? The money isn't the loss here. The biggest loss that happens here when you make investments like this, or investments better yet, and you lose your portfolio that rapidly just like that, is the confidence to invest. The money is not a major problem. You learn a thing or two when you lose some money. But the biggest issue here is that you lose the confidence to ever invest, guys, okay? The confidence. Because you see, guys, the biggest mistake that new investors make is that they lose money upfront early when they start investing, and then they tend to shy away from proper investments later on in their lives. It's like you get hit with something so sudden that all of a sudden you're scarred from it now. Like, you don't ever wanna deal with it. You don't wanna hear about it anymore. Like you just don't want to even bother seeing it anymore. And even if it doesn't scar you completely and you still decide to invest, well, you take so little risk later down the road that you never tend to invest in bigger risk down the road with the proper education. So you take as much little risk later on, maybe you invest into bonds, CDs, maybe some, you know, safe index funds or something, but you never take that giant leap ever again of investing your money into something that could potentially be rewarding, you know? like very rewarding because these type of people guys they gambled lost then conflated that gamble with real investing okay this is not investing when, when you throw your money into something that you don't know and you have no idea what it is what the company might be doing or just anything in general guys that is not investing that is gambling and if you're gonna gamble like that you might as well go to a casino and have a higher chance there because guys that is not investing. So new beginners do this, you know, type of gambling early on and they end up confusing them with real investing. So again, guys, it just shies them away completely from investing ever again. Now, listen, it's not like those movies for, you know, the hero takes a huge risk, you know, and wins it all. And all of a sudden he's a big hero and whatnot, right? Okay. This ain't no movie. This is real life. And if there's anything that you can learn from this guys is that it's all about taking the right risks consistently and watching your portfolio grow slowly but steadily okay you also need to do the proper research do more research read books on whatever investment you're planning on taking read more i don't know news articles of that investment but don't just gamble your money away guys because if you do you were going to lose the confidence to ever invest ever ever again so to any new investor who is watching this right now guys listen don't get burned out okay take your time do your proper research don't listen to those people on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube that tell you that, hey, Bitcoin's gonna jump up to 30,000, you should go buy it right now. Or that the cannabis industry is gonna be a multi billion company thing in the next year or so. I mean, it might, who knows? But I mean, again, you don't wanna go into something without doing the proper research, okay? Just remember that you need to invest what you can afford to lose. So if you can only afford to lose 100 bucks, then stick with the $100, okay? Don't go around putting your whole savings account into something that you don't understand and you don't have the risk tolerance for it, okay? You also need to know your risk tolerance because if you don't guys, when the worst comes and you see your portfolio go down by 40%, 60%, 90% and you're not ready for that type of risk, well, it's gonna mentally cripple you and you're never gonna wanna invest again. And the worst part is that you might end up selling your portfolio at such a low price that you end up losing money for real. Now listen, again, as a new beginner, you're bound to lose probably some money in the future, but that's okay, okay? Don't let that discourage you from ever not investing again. Learn from that, 
see what you can do next time to avoid taking a loss like that minimize your risk do the research and just know that building up your wealth guys takes time you don't just jump into bitcoin cannabis or a penny stock that you all of a sudden heard went up 200 percent the other night you don't jump into that thinking that you're gonna get all that money okay so again know your risk tolerance guys okay do the research plan accordingly watch your portfolio and you should be okay because guys if there's one thing that's worse than just losing the confidence it's never even investing at all ever again okay and if you never invest in your life anymore because of something like this guys well then you're missing out on a lot of money and i just really hope that this isn't you right here who ends up losing that confidence and if you have lost your confidence and you're watching this guys listen you can always pick yourself back up get back into investing again do the proper research and whatnot I guarantee you everything will turn out way better than it did when you first started investing, okay? Because again, you learn these mistakes over time and therefore it makes you plan accordingly and more sufficiently and just more smarter, you know? But anyways, guys, that's gonna wrap it up. Again, let me know what you guys think about this board. Let me know if it helps. But without wasting any more of your time, guys, I'm gonna wrap it up. I'll see you on the next one. Just have a great day, all right, guys? Peace.